we're looking at logical operators now, section 5.5, and that's a way to combine multiple conditions together. The way you do that, you could, as in the book, you could write an if statement, if x equals zero, if y equals zero, so we're only gonna be running, looking at this line if x was already zero, and then we could print both x and y are zero. There's a combined way to do it, and you do that with these logical operators. There's the double ampersand or the double vertical bar. So where are those on your keyboard? On mine, there's shift seven gives you the and, and then the uh, vertical bar for me is shift, and it's the backslash key above enter. Uh, some keyboards make it look like a bar with a little crack in the middle, uh, but it should give you a vertical bar. So let's go ahead. Mathematically, I like to put the small number on the left. So that says if x is greater than 0 and x is less than 10, we'll print out x is positive and small. So we'll put in a number, we'll put 8, 8 is positive and small, and again 100. We got, of course have a problem here, so 100 is not negative. Uh, I don't want to be distracted by this, all this if else stuff right here, so let's go ahead and comment all that out. Uh, so we got x is positive and small, if both of those are true. What about the OR condition? Let's do that. So if I switch this to an OR, so this is either X is greater than zero. Now mathematically, if X is greater than 10, it's automatically greater than zero. So this, these, aren't, these are really pointless conditions to uh, use an OR statement with. But let's uh, instead, what makes sense? Let's say if X is less than negative 10 OR, greater than positive 10. So we'll say x is far from zero. So we can either be less than negative 10, so like negative 20, any larger negative number, or anything bigger than 10. So we'll print out x is far from zero. Uh, this could be a good time for an else statement. Duplicate, control shift down, alt shift down. There we go, far from zero, close to zero. It's gonna be one of the two. All right, we answer, uh, let's do four. Four is close to zero, okay. Try even zero, zero is close to zero, yes. Uh, now we'll try 135 is far from zero. Okay, so it can either have this one true or this one true. You only need one of the two to be true. Now De Morgan's Laws, which is 5.6, they let you uh, shortcut negations. So this uh, exclamation point means not. So I'm going to put an extra, some extra spacing in here. So I just add an extra parenthesis. What I'm going to do in front of this parenthesis is put an exclamation point, which means not. So it's going to reverse. If this is true, that exclamation point is going to turn it false. So what I have highlighted was evaluated to true, and then we negated it. And so that made it false. Uh, sometimes you may want to do this. Uh, if you have two conditions you're checking and you want neither to be true, uh, you could do uh, this not right here. Uh, De Morgan's law lets you, let's see, we did basically that scenario right there, two conditions. It's the same as not A and not B. And De Morgan's Law, if you negate and, it splits up to negate A, A, B, but changes the and to an or. So it's a little bit funky. Uh, I recommend, don't worry too much about De Morgan's Law. Do what makes sense to you. Uh, what I think logically was the smartest was what we had here originally. That's what my brain first thought of. So if x is further than negative 10 uh, from 0 or further than positive 10 from 0, then it makes sense to print out x is far from 0, else x is close to 0. So I recommend just do what's easier. Don't worry too much about De Morgan's laws.